Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Christofuli from Edenvale High School and we are going to continue with the, the syllabus, otherwise we might not finish, so I hope that you are ready. Um, please will you make sure you've got your math books, you need your math books, you need a pen, and maybe you need a calculator, but don't write anything yet, I'll tell you when to start writing. Um, I will post one of these one of these videos kind of every day or every second day and you can just follow with us if you need to ask your teachers anything then we're all available for you all right and i hope that quarantine is going fine okay so uh, let's just do a bit of recap here's my algebraic expression if i am asking for the degree of the expression i'm looking for my highest exponent so that would be four so that would be the degree of my polynomial um, then if I'm looking for my variable, I'm looking for the letter, so that would be x. If I ask for my constant, my constant would be negative 2, so my constant is always the number that doesn't have any variables being multiplied by it. And then the last thing is my coefficient. So my coefficient of x squared would basically be the number in front of the x squared, so that's negative 3. Not just the 3, but include the negative. All right, my names of algebraic exp expressions. I've got a monomial, so that mono meaning one. So a monomial would be an expression with only one term, so x, y, z. There's no pluses or minuses there. You're saying x times y times z, so it's only one term. Binomial. Binomial. Binomial would be an expression with two terms, so x minus three. The two terms are separated by that negative, so um, terms are always separated by either negative or positive. Then you've got your trinomial, tri meaning 3, an expression of three terms. So a minus 2c plus 3m, so these are three terms, 1, 2, 3. Okay, this would be the right time to open up your book. Please open up your book to a new page. Um, you can write down the date and the heading. So the heading is adding and subtracting algebraic expressions, and this is not an April Fool's joke. Okay, so it tells me I need to add this bracket with this bracket. So if I write it down, I'm just going to write down this, and then I'm going to say plus this. Okay, so that's what I've got. The, the next step would be to distribute that addition, to distribute that plus into the bracket. So I'm going to say positive times a positive will still be a positive. Positive times a negative, okay, will still give me a negative. Positive times a negative will still give me a negative. So actually I can just remove that bracket because if I distribute a positive into that bracket, none of the signs change. So that's kind of what you're looking at. And then if you find your like term, so you simplify your expression, you're going to say 3x squared plus 2x squared will give me my 5x squared. Minus x minus 3x gives me minus 4x and positive 4 minus 1 will give me 3. All right, so that one's done. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, the next one says I need to subtract this bracket here from this end bracket. Okay, so I need to write down that one first. So that's how it would look. I'm saying, um, minus, ugh, I'm saying 6x squared minus 2 minus this bracket here. All right, that is how you'd write it, then I still need to distribute my negative. So a negative times a negative gives me a positive, a negative times a positive gives me a negative. So you should have seen a sign change um, in that expression in the brackets. So if I add my like terms now, 6x squared plus 4x squared, that will give me 10x squared, and then minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. All right, if I'm going too fast, then just pause the video. <laughs> but this stuff you should remember from grade 8. Um, if you don't, then it's just a quick recap. All right, then, um, please will you write down this expression in your books. This is a very common exam question. Um, they love to ask this in exams, and it's quite a nice question to get because all you have to do is remember what everything is. So um, once you've written down and you've written down the questions, then you can continue with the video. I would say pause the video for now. All right, so there are how many terms in the above expression? Let's have a look. So remember, terms separated by a plus or a minus. So I've got one, two, three, four terms. 
the constant term, so you're looking for the one that doesn't have the x, that would be here, so minus 1. The degree of the expression, you're looking at your highest exponent, which would be 3. And the coefficient of x squared, so where is x squared? It's over here. So the degree, ugh, the coefficient would be the number in front, so positive 3. Then what is the value of the expression if x is equal to negative 2? Okay, I'm just going to jump to the next slide. So they give you this expression. They tell you x is negative 2. So wherever there's an x, I'm going to substitute negative 2 in brackets. Please remember to do it in brackets. And now we need to simplify. Okay, they are quite, it's quite often that people want to jump straight to the multiplication. So they want to say minus 5 times minus 2. Okay, don't do that because remember BODMATH says you need to do exponents before you do multiplication. So I need to first deal with this exponent on the outside of my bracket, then I can do the multiplication. So I'm first going to say minus 2 to the power of 3, which will give me minus 8. Same thing here, I'm going to say minus 2 to the power of 2, or minus 2 squared, which will be minus 2 times minus 2, which will give me a positive 4. So there it is there. Now I can do my multiplication. So minus 5 times minus 8, that will give me positive 40. 3 times 4 is 12. And then I can just add and subtract left to right. 40 plus 12 minus 2 minus 1. And I'm going to get my answer. Okay, so that's just a very common question that you can expect to find in an exam situation or a test situation. Um, all right, then the last thing that we're going to do, please write down the next heading. Uh, we're going to multiply and divide polynomials. All right. Okay, so please write down this example. This is the first example I'm going to give you. And then I'm going to give you um, four other examples for you to do by yourself for homework. So this is kind of the last thing that we're doing in this video. Um, if I need to subtract what's inside my bracket here. Okay, so 2x minus 4. I know that I can't do that because they're not like terms. So I need to distribute my 3 in. So I'm going to say 3 times 2x and 3 times minus 4. And if I do that, this is what I've got. And then I can't do anything else because I've got unlike terms. All right, so these are the ones that I'd like you to do for homework. I'll start you off for the first one. So the first one, I've got minus 2 times minus 2. That will give me positive 4. x times x cubed. That will give me x to the power of 4. All right, so you can finish these off. Um, please remember that once you've distributed, that you just need to make sure that you've simplified completely so you found all your like terms and all that stuff. And if you have any questions, then you can just ask. All right, guys, good luck, and I'll post another video soon.